Hey, FR Sky people, this is Steve with FR Sky, and I am answering viewer mail today. And this is something I'm going to be doing in the future. If somebody makes a good video, I am not going to upstage them. Uh, someone made a great video a while back, and it was my buddy, Darren Lines, otherwise known as Mr. D. Falling with Style. He came out with this video on December 17th, 2021. It was called Setting Up FR Sky Archer srx stabilized receivers uh he did it using ethos and somewhere in about seven and a half minutes into the video he showed you how to put the gains channel on a knob and somebody wrote in and said i i want to put the gains channel on a switch and he had three values in mind zero thirty percent and fifty percent so how do you do that okay so this is going to be a modification to that video um Anything else to do with the stabilization of stabilized receivers, including the new SR10 Plus or the SR8 Plus, please you know refer to that video and please ask your questions of Darren. This one, I wanted to just quickly show you how I set this up. And the way I did it was by creating this wonderful little gains channel thing right here let me i'm gonna take you out of here all the way bad housekeeping here so the way you find it is to go in here go into mixer i'm going to show you how i set this up i did it by hitting this plus button creating a free mix putting it in the last position and then i went in here and this is where i renamed it to gains switch this was to populate it by just hitting switch e and as for a source and then i went down here and oh i passed right by it i hit this add new curve three times all right and so what i did was i set up a custom curve i'm going to show you that in a moment here it's called gains and then i put switch e up right there and get out of that you hit return Switch E center right there and switch E down right here. All right, so this is essentially how I did everything. Last thing I did was I created an output channel, and the first time you do it, it'll ask you when there's nothing here if you want to name it whatever you named the the actual mix. And so since I named the mix gain, it created the channel name as gain as well. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here, and I want to. I can do it also by just hitting that, right? Um, now I've got. You can see the only thing that's different between this one and this one is I didn't rename it. It's just called default free mix, but everything else is on the switch E. It's channel nine, so I want to get rid of this. I don't need two of them. I go. I just click on it once. Go scroll up once. Hit delete. Say yes. It's gone. And this is essentially going to edit, and I wanted to show you um, what it looks like. And this is, the only thing I didn't really get into is talking about the curve. It's a three-point curve, um, so the type was custom. So you, I selected it, and it could have been X, bow, or a function, but I called it custom. And it, default is usually five points, so it would look like that. And I switched to three points, and I defined the three points here. The first one is 0%. This one is really 30%. I must have moved it 29. We're getting closer. These things are miserable to work with on a computer. Uh, much better on the tandem transmitter. Okay, so that's what the three-point curve looks like. And anyway, then... Um, as I move the switch E, and I can do it virtually, so when it's all the way up, it's at 0%. In the middle, it's 30%, and all the way down, it's 50%. Back to 30, back to 0. Okay. Uh, once again, the output channels at the bottom here, and I just channel 9, just like in Darren's video. So that is how you do it. It's a slight modification, a slight detour from his video uh, a great video you really should watch it if you want to understand how to set up um, SRX so the SR8 SR10 plus receivers 
And if you have any questions, feel free to message me, steve at frskynegativerc.com. Thank you for watching.